Hello and welcome to Geophysics Made Easy. Today we're going to take a look at extended elastic impedance angle analysis. So as you know, extended elastic impedance is an impedance which ranges between AI and GI and it's controlled by an angle called chi. As you can see in the diagram here for the bottom right, here's how uh, chi is defined. So it's an angle which the two axes are projected and uh, goes this way uh, anti-clockwise from the origin. So extended elastic impedance is very good at distinguishing different types of facies, including hydrocarbon and brine sands, or sands and shales. Uh, but you need to find uh, this uh, optimal response at certain uh, angles. Sometimes it's really easy to see this on the seismic uh, just by using the interactive tool and uh, eyeballing the result. But uh, in this case, we're going to show how we can use the well data to uh, constrain the projection angle. So I'm going to use a tool called uh, EEI Angle Analysis, and I'm going to predict the angle at which we can best distinguish the two uh, facies by using um, this uh, QC plot here. So the process works by inputting a VP, VS, and rho log, and then adding some additional uh, well data, like a V shale or a gamma ray, to QC the uh, data on the plot. And we then do a first pass um, estimation of the projection angle on this uh, scatter plot, like so. We can then choose an advanced option to find the peak correlation with a specific log, in which case we choose a specific target log, again, like V-shale or gamma ray, and we can then uh, QC the results in a number of different ways. So let's see how that works uh, together in Petrel. So here I can choose my seismic reservoir characterization toolbox and then my EEI angle analysis, and I'm going to choose my well here and then select VP, VS, and then row. And then I'm going to just click uh, refresh here on the plot. And what you see is I get uh, two distinct clusters of data. So next I need to add some uh, context to this. So I'm going to choose a log to give some color by. I'm going to choose V shale. And then again, just click refresh. And this time what I can do is color by my V shale. And now you can see a really clear uh, separation between uh, the high values of V-shale and the low. So it shows us that we have a distinct separation between sand and shale in this um, AI versus GI space. Now we can make a first pass um, estimation of the angle at which we can uh, separate these two facies by clicking the reset uh, line button. So this makes a best fit between the two classes. And what we can see at an angle of about uh, 41 degrees here we have a best separation between the two different classes. So we could take this angle already and go back into our EEI volume tool and project these two together at the 41 degrees to get a quick um, first pass at the uh, extended elastic impedance lithology cube. But now I'm going to show you how to just um, do, do this in a bit more detail. So next we can click on the advanced tab and then choose log correlation. And this time we're going to try and match the optimal uh, chi angle for a specific uh, log. So this could be any petrophysical log that you um, desire. But in my case, I'm going to try and use again my V shale so I can create a extended elastic impedance volume that's showing lithology. So I choose my V shale log and then click refresh. And then we get a simple uh, plot here. And what you see in this uh, diagram is the angle of uh, chi along the um, lower axis and then the cross correlation coefficient on the y axis. And what we can see is an angle of around between, say, 15 and 22 degrees here. We have a peak uh, correlation between the V shale log and the uh, chi angle. So again, we can further QC this by adding some data to our well track, like so, and then click Refresh. And what I have here is my original V shale log in black, and then my predicted extended last impedance log in red. And as I adjust the angle here, you can see this log gets redrawn. So I can see that 
uh, at lower angles here I don't get a good correlation which is what my data suggests but around this uh, peak correlation here you can see that I get a very nice match between my original V shale and my extended elastic impedance log. We can also output these uh, logs if we want to QC them a bit further in the well section window for example but what in this case what I'm going to do is go straight to my next step which is my extended elastic impedance and choose my angle of around yeah, between 18 and 22 degrees I could for example produce multiple extended elastic impedance volumes here click apply and I then have my extended elastic impedance created at different uh, chi angles to optimize for uh, correlation against my V shale log. So this concludes this uh, little how-to video on how to use your well data to best uh, guide your extended elastic impedance estimation. If you have any questions as always please let us know. Thank you.